Hi, this is Alicia from OCD, and tonight we're going to do a tutorial on bottle brush trees. First, we're going to bleach the trees to remove the color, because when you get them from the store, they come green and plain, and then we're going to dye them pretty colors. All right, so step one is so we have a big bowl of water, and I'm just going to take some regular household bleach, and I'm going to add it to the water. I probably do 75 water, 25 bleach, mix that in. I've also got a, a bowl full of clean water. So I'm going to take my trees, sometimes they have a plastic base, sometimes they have a wooden base, but we just stick them in there, just kind of let them soak. You can do several, you can see this one tree, a lot of stuff is coming off of there. Stick the little ones in. We'll just let them soak for a few minutes. All right, so they've been in here for a few minutes and you can see that's a really pretty kind of light green color. I like that, so we'll keep that one. And we'll just put it in the regular water to deactivate the Clorox. Make that a little bit wider. I'll leave that in there. Oh, I'll leave that in there. That was kind of brownish black. So we'll wait just a little bit longer. Let those sit. Alright, so I guess they've been in there maybe 10 minutes. So we're going to take them out, put them in the water. Nice and white. This one that's kind of green, I like that one. I'll keep it. Okay. So, now look in here. We'll rinse these off and then we will get ready to dye them. So I'm adding my blue acrylic paint. I've already done my red. And these are just little craft acrylic paints from the craft store I've had for many years. Now we're ready to dye. So our trees are still kind of wet, but that's okay. We're just put them in the blue, put them in the turquoise, put them in the red. And then let's kind of see how fast they're dying. Sometimes it takes longer than others. Let's take and dye pretty quickly. Let's look at the blue. Gosh, that's really pretty. So they've been soaking for just a few minutes. Take them out and see what we have. See red? That might become kind of pink when it dries. So the bottle brush trees came out a little darker, kind of primary colors, and I want them to be a little more muted, a little more vintage, so I'm adding some white to tone down the colors. Here are my new colors, a little more muted with the white, and I've dyed these bottle brush trees. They're a little softer, not a lot softer, and here is the finished result after they've dried for a day, and I kind of like them. It's a pinky orange, a coral, and a really light green, and a really pretty aqua. Next, we can decorate them.